to determine the rough opening size of a door, we need to take the size of the door, which is three feet, zero inches. We convert three feet into <coughs> inches, 36 and a half inches. Then we have to add for the size of the jam. The jam is the frame of the door. It has a jam on both sides, so you have to add three quarters of an inch for one jam and three quarters of an inch for the other. Then when we install it, we want room to shim on both sides. So we add a half an inch of spacing on both sides. If you add all these numbers together, you get 36 plus a half, plus a half is 37, 37 and three quarters, 38 and a half inches. That will be the size of the rough opening of our door. For this video, I'm going to show you how to find the center of a board. So I've got two boards that are the same length. I've got them lined up so that they're flush on each end. Find the total length approximately 93 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide that by two. So let's say about 46 inches. I measure 46 inches from this direction. I measure 46 inches from this direction. Center of the board is between the two lines. I've marked my board with a center line. I'm going to lay out my door using this center line. The size of my door rough opening is going to be 38 and a half inches. So from the center line I mark 19 and a quarter inches in each direction. From that mark, I measure an inch and a half, an inch and a half, going away from the center. This will give me the location of my studs. inside studs closest to the opening will be a trimmer stud next to it will be a king stud on the top will be a cripple stud next to the king stud on the other side trimmer stud nearest the opening full stud Next to it, cripple stud on top. Once you've found the width of the door, the last thing you need to do is you need to lay out 16s so that you can find where the cripple studs will go. These studs outside the opening are full studs. This stud right here next to the trimmer is called a king stud. It's a full stud. The ones that fall between the trimmer studs are cripple studs. You notice I didn't mark anything on the bottom because it doesn't get a stud on the bottom. You can't have a stud in the middle of a door. So these little cripple studs will be above our header. And 
that's how you lay out the cripple studs.